Welcome back to Nigel's Pond and today it's just a, a short video just a quick one this one's mainly to help me or any other family members um, it may even help other people that are using this kind of pump but we're using um, we're using a central heating pump and we're just going to have a look at to see why the pump has lost pressure why it's not circulating the water as powerful as it should be and because it's lost pressure um, it's not able to produce enough flow to feed the veg filter so what I'm going to do is we've got three pumps already in the garage we've got a brand new pump and we've got two spare pumps as well but it's, it, it seems silly just to have to put a new pump on just because it's lost pressure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of the old pumps and I'm going to strip it apart and have a look to see if I can repair it get more life out of the old ones or see whether we have to put a new one in. You can see the pond temperatures uh, 12.7. The fish seem to have slowed down now. Summer's come to an end. Autumn is here. I think it's the 28th of September today. Right, so I guess the first thing is um, let's have a look down here. I'll show you the actual pump that we've got. So the pump is it's only a cheap one off eBay. I think there's. 35 40 pound maybe ish just a cheap one um, it doesn't have to be anything special and I think it runs at 90 watts on full power that one which when you consider the other pump that we had running here in place of this which was using that was using 400 watts so compare this 90 watts to 400 yeah this is a lot cheaper to run right so just down there that pipe coming in I'm going to blank that and turn the pump off and blank it and then you know we can uh, swap pumps over but this is one of the old ones first that we'd uh, replace because it wasn't as powerful and it turns out yeah you can take these apart I thought it was a completely sealed unit I don't know what made me think that and it's only slowed down because tiny bits of gravel have got caught in these little wheels in these little vents so I'm going to use that down there my air compressor we're going to use that and uh, along with the screwdriver we'll get all these stones out get it nice and clean look at that happy days I'm going to whack a plug on the end here as well and then we can just go swap it straight over get the old pump out and we'll have a, have a look at that see if that one just needs cleaning and then what I can do is, is because we do have another there's a third pump as well no, actually I think we've got four pumps so I will clean all the old ones out so here's the one, uh, I've swapped them over already, that's the one that I've just taken out. I'm not going to bore you with uh, how I take them out and putting them in. And As you can see it just screws on either side, a couple, couple of those unions, are they unions? I don't know what they are, a couple of end connectors anyway. But yeah, the new pump, well the reconditioned pump, got plenty of power now. It's feeding the veg filter, feeding the pond. Happy days. Right, so um, I guess that's all it is. It's just that they got blocked up with a few stones a little bit of gravel in there you know it's um yeah I'm, <laughs> I thought it was going to cost me another 30 quid so yeah we got there we got I think they're four mil allen keys so there's four four mil allen keys take them out and then uh, you can get to this this disc here and clean all that out and that's what I got out of this one there was a lot of gravel a lot of gravel in there and it's all freewheeling um, there was another uh, pump as well that I ended up cleaning out as well and that was actually completely seized but yeah that's now been reconditioned and it's in the box back in there and we've got a brand new pump at the back there as well so you know we've got plenty of spare pumps we obviously don't need them all now but yeah and I made a mistake I didn't connect that pipe properly and uh, a little bit of weed blanket weed managed to get in through the pipe and got caught up in this pump so this pump was only on there for about an hour and then this happened uh, but that was purely my fault because I didn't reattach the pump the, the pipe inside the pond correctly and as a result yeah it's um it's even sucked in a few stones and whatnot a bit of debris from the pond but that's it yeah so the pump is now fixed everything's working the water flow is great and that's all we got to do so if you are using one of these pumps at home for your pond and it slows down and loses pressure that's all that it is most likely just fill up with uh, blanket weed and stones gravel a little bit of dirt so uh, hopefully 
this will help some people out might help me out again in the future if I forget because my terrible memory as I'm getting older or if my brother or any anyone else that comes around to sort the pond out if I'm away traveling then they know what to do so uh, yeah thanks for watching take care stay safe God bless